Um, good evening, everybody. Um, I think that Rebecca Monterosa, Carlos Gavidia, Alain Devi, uh, Calderon. So you are here. Can you, I don't know if you can listen to me. Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, I will be your teacher in church. I was writing uh, there in the WhatsApp group. I was introducing myself. Uh, I will do it here in, in this video conference too, um, but we have to wait for the rest of, of, of your classmates. Okay, um, we're going to wait just a couple of minutes and I will, I'll be back, okay? So stay, uh, stay here. Um, okay, uh, welcome to the ones that um, are connected right now. Uh, let me see who else is here. Mr. Jorge Lopez, welcome. Okay, um, <clears throat> well. Um, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, sir. Um, well, you, you, the time we're going to be um, starting with this video conference um, I will explain in some things about the course. Maybe you know because you already take uh, some courses before in English Corporativo. But today I am going to give you some instructions. Um, first of all, I have to introduce myself, uh, and you're going to do it too because I want to know everybody here in this in this video conference. Uh, well, uh, my name is Wilmer Granados. I'm a teacher of English Corporativo. Also, I'm working in a university um, here in El Salvador. I'm from Osulutan. Um, I currently, I'm currently taking um, a master degree in, in TESOL. Uh, and also, I, um, I cur some certifications uh, in tutoring online. Uh, I mean, on, online tutoring. Uh, and also I've been working in some other um, companies. Um, I've been working with uh, uh, children. So I will um, I'm be working with um, teenagers. And also that uh, I've been working with ad adults. So uh, I have a lot of experience teaching and uh, well, some years uh, of teaching. Um, and I hope that you can enjoy in this course uh, the, the, the knowledge that you're going to, to get from, from it. I'm going to learn from you too, because uh, as you know, in education, uh, we are always learning. And uh, uh, as you're going to, to learn from me, I hope to learn a lot of things from you. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I, I see that uh, most of you are connecting right now. Uh, well, that, that's me, that's me. Um, 
let me see. Uh, we're going to, well, you are going to introduce yourself. And I want you to um, open your microphone and tell me. Uh, also, something that you can add when you're introducing yourself, if you want to comment something, you can say uh, something about your interests. Uh, you can say uh, something about your likes. Um, uh, where do you live? Things you do. Uh, where do you work? Things like that. Okay, you, you can include that information if you want. Um, we're going to start with Mr. Calderon. You are the one, the first one here in my list, the, the, the ones that I have in, in Zoom. So, um, well, Mr. <clears throat> Hello. Um, I have 30 years old. I am informatical engineer. I work in Ministry of Education mm -hmm. with technology. I fix computer. <clears throat> I am a programming computer and teaching some students in some schools. And I am here to learn new vocabulary and learn to do all. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Um, and I hope that so that you can learn um, some some things about English vocabulary, grammar things, uh, that you can improve your speaking skills and writing skills. Uh, let me see, Miss uh, Rivas. Miss Rivas, hello. Good evening. Hi, you mean Ariella? Hello, Miss. Uh, well, Hi. introduce yourself. Hi, okay. So, hello everybody. I am Ariela Rivas. I am 25 years old. Um, I'm, I was studying business administration at Universidad Francisco Gavidia. And I'm really excited for this new chapter of my life learning more English. So I expect to be growing in my speech in different ways of learning. Okay, thank you, Miss. Well, uh, keep gonna, okay, keep connected and also uh, Ariela, oh, sorry, yeah. Miss. Uh, okay. Um, well, you're going to have a lot of things to do here in this uh, in this course. You you also have the the, uh, the platform of English Corporativo, and also we're going to be working on on, on your speaking skills and, and things like that. And all, a lot of things like that uh, that I hope that you can enjoy and also that you can learn uh, about it. Uh, let me see, uh, Mr. Gaviria. Um, well, introduce yourself. Hello, sir. You're not there. <clears throat> well, let's see, uh, Mr. Lopez. Mr. Lopez. Oh, Mr. Um, it's not right here. Um, Hello, can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you right now. Hello, everybody. My name is Carlos Gavidia. I'm 52 years old. First, I'm happy to be part of the group. Uh, my, I expect to learn more English and Every day I improve my vocabulary and grammar too. So I'm excited to be part of the group. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, I hope so that you can you can learn a lot of things. Uh, something that I have to mention here is that we're going to be taking this course uh, in just in full, uh, well, full English, okay? We're going to speak here just English because one of the purpose here in, in pre-advanced level is that you can improve your communication skills, your speaking skills, uh, and your writing skills. So I mean, some, some other things related to grammar 
and grammar structures, things like that, okay? Uh, for that reason is that this course is full English, okay? Uh, well, let's continue with your presentations. Um, let me see. Mr. Lopez. Mr. Lopez. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, I, I am uh, 45 years old. Um, I live in Ayutuxtapeque. I am a programmer analyst of computer. Uh, I love the soccer and and learning and grammar, English, uh, okay. and more speak. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, let's continue. Let's see, Miss. Ms. Campos. Okay, Ms. Campos. Hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Lea Raquel Campos. I live in Colonia uh, um, San Jacinto, in San Jacinto City. Um, uh, what more? I am journalist. And I work in that my career in journalist. And I like, uh, I like read, I like Green news, <laughs> and yeah, it's all. That's all. Okay, thank you, Miss. Well, welcome. Uh, let's see, who else is here? Miss Pacheco. Uh, uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is. Gabriela Pacheco or Lucia Pacheco. I'm a student of El Salvador University. Um, I'm studying for engineer of systems or system engineer. Um, my hobbies are uh, watch TV, movies, uh, series, um, uh, all things about that. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. all. Okay, okay, thank you, Miss. Uh, well, that's that, that's good to know that because you can take advantage of those things that you that, that you do. Because um, if you like to watch series, one of the things that you can do, and this is an advice that, that I have to, well, I can give you to you, is if you watch series, um, you can watch it again in English. You can do those things and you're going to enjoy this because uh, you are, will be watching the, the, well, the, the, the episode in English and also in Spanish. So that's something that, that, that you can do also with music. That, that's helpful with music too because um, one of the things that you, that, that you can do is uh, try to um, translate the lyric of, of a song and then listen again, listen again, and that's helpful to improve your vocabulary. Uh, let me see who else is here, Miss Monterosa. Yes, sir. Okay, Miss, uh, introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Rebecca Monterosa. I'm from Metapan City, but uh, also I live in Soyapango because I work in a call center in San Salvador. So, uh, where else? I'm 24 years old. Um, um, I'm not starting, just working in, a, in an account that is bilingual, Spanish and English for a, for a company that is from USA making taxes. Um, I don't know, one of my hobbies is listen to music. Uh, sometimes I listen to music in English, but it's not my favorite. I have, I have to be honest. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, but I have to be honest. <laughs> okay. mm, I don't know. That's it. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Uh, well, welcome to, to this uh, course. Let me see who else is here. Uh, Mr. Ramirez. 
Good evening, everyone. Um, Good evening, sir. Ramirez. Okay. My name is Ricardo Ramirez. I'm an engineer. I live in Santa Tecla. I'm 44 uh, years old and I work in construction. And my hobbies, my favorite hobbies is playing basketball and swim, um, swimming, um, listening to music and English. That's all. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, one of the things that I like, uh, and I didn't mention at the beginning, is that I like basketball too. Um, uh, sometimes I used to play uh, basketball in, 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 a, in, in a city here in, in, in Sulutan. Um, well, I think that, uh, let me see if someone is missing here. Um, well, uh, one is missing, Mr. Garcia. Are you there? Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Saul Garcia. I live in Metapan City. Uh, I am uh, a forest ranger. I work in Monte Cristo National Park. Uh, I like uh, listening music and uh, only that. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, well, I think I'm seeing that uh, most of you um, are, are from San Salvador, from uh, La Libertad, and, and well, you are so far from, <laughs> from the place that I live. Uh, as I said at the beginning, I'm, I'm from uh, Osolutan. Uh, I don't know if someone is near here to Sulutan, maybe in San Miguel or, or well, I don't know. Nobody, nobody uh, is from from the east of the country. No, nobody. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, welcome to this course. As I said uh, at the beginning, um, I hope that you can enjoy. The, the, those uh, contents that you have in a platform. Uh, I will explain some things um, that we're going to be working on this in this uh, course. And the first one is that you have a, pl a, a platform where you're going to be working um, asynchronously. Uh, why? In this platform, you are going to find all the contents that we are going to be discussing in this video conference. Um, and there, you are going to solve some exercises where uh, you must get at least, um, let me see, at least eight to go to the next level. And also, you have to attend to the video conference at least the 80% of, of the, the whole video conference that we're going to have during this, uh, well, during this month, because there are uh, 16 sessions, um, online sessions on, I mean, video conferences that you're going to be taking. Uh, I hope that you can keep till the end of this course, because believe me, th these uh, courses are really helpful to improve our listening or to improve our grammar, to improve our writing. And we're going to be working on it. Um, something that I used to do in, um, in the video conference is, uh, is that I like to, uh, to discuss with you some topics. Um, and I want to listen to you. Because that, that's the purpose of this video conference, that you can practice your English and that you can share your ideas, you can share your opinions, and also uh, you can be working here in the exercises that I, I will be preparing for you uh, during this period. And, and I start, uh, most of the time, I start with a question um, in my in my classes. Give me a second because I have some problems uh, with this presentation. I can I can go to the next slide. Uh, give me a second. Let me see what's happening here. Mm 
Um, okay, sorry guys uh, uh, for for this inconvenience because um, I don't know what happened to this thing. Um, I'm trying to solve it right now. Okay, I did. Well, here you have. Okay, um, this is the pre-advanced level, and the topic that going that we're going to be uh, discussing today is describing problems. First of all, um, you are going to have the, the lesson objective. And it says that by the end of the lecture, participants will be able to describe problems with past uh, participles as adjectives with noun. That's the, the, the aim of this um, session. Um, to start with the topic, we're going to do something. We're going to start giving opinions about this quote that I have in this uh, presentation. Because uh, one of the ideas here is that you can share uh, what you think about something. Uh, and also that you can practice your speaking um, in, in all the classes, okay? So let's see, uh, I want a volunteer that tell me if you have ever listened to this uh, quote before, or what do you think about this quote? What is your opinion? Uh, maybe you can reflect on it and tell us. Let's see, there is someone and uh, wants to participate as a volunteer. Hello. Have you ever uh, listened to this word in Spanish? No. No? It's something like, uh, al que a buen albo, árbol se arrima, okay? Ah, buena sombra. Lo, uh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's, that's a quote uh, that I have for you today. So tell me, what do you think about it? Okay, hello. It's kind of true. Okay, I mean, tell us why and your reasons that um, mm, that you have for this work. People, with the people, you know that when you are with a good person, well, you attract, I mean, your vibe or their vibe are good ones. So you have the chance to receive or attract good vibes, good things. Okay, thank you, miss, thank you. Uh, let me see, who else? Because I want to listen to you uh, talking about this. Remember, this is a good opportunity to practice your English. Hello? I think that is, um when you are with, with uh, good people, the people you learn interesting things and the people um, can you to be better person or better professional, uh, always you are good. You are good uh, because um, there are more, um, more capacity. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, think it's, I think it's the relationship with the other people. Okay, okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Good point. Uh, let me see. Someone else. Okay. Maybe if 
if you if you have a good friends, you can get um, great favors. Okay, okay. Well, that that's obliged to you too. Uh, well, well, it, it's it's this is this is something basic. Um, that if you are going, if you want to to learn something about any topic, okay, if you want um, to uh, get good values in your life, you have to uh, get closer to to someone uh, that uh, practices the same that you want, okay. If you go or if you get a, a, a well, if you meet someone that it's no uh, practicing good values, okay, what are you expecting there? Uh, th th this can be aligned that way, okay? Um, well, we're going to go to the topic that is describing problems with past uh, participle um, as adjectives. This is the first topic. You can check those, uh, that topic in the platform there, and you're going to find some exercises um, that you must complete. In this case, we're going to be talking about th this structure that is using V plus the past participle. Okay, using V plus the past participle. As you know, uh, we have three different forms of the verb V. Uh, those are um, is, am, um, and are. You already know that. And um, we also are going to um, discuss about how we describe problems with nouns and the structure for it, um, for this specific thing is using there is, there are, plus noun. And there we have some of the examples that we, uh, that we can find in, um, in the platform. Well, first of all, we're going to see the previous slide that um, that has this structure using B plus past participle, okay? Using B plus past participle. Um, in this case, um, we're using uh, the past participle um, as an adjective, okay? Why? Because in the sentence that we have here, um, we're seeing that the verb in past participle is working or is describing the noun of this sentence, okay? V, V in this case is the verb of the sentence that we're using. The sentence, it says the jacket lining is torn, okay? If we notice, if we identify um, the, the, in a sentence, what is describing what? We're going to see that thorn um, is describing the jacket lining, okay? So in that way is that this topic works. How we are going to describe problems with past participle as adjectives, okay? As adjectives. In English, in English we can do this using uh, past participle, but to, um, to, to construct this uh, kind of sentences, we must use the verb V in, in all the forms. Uh, I will share to you a um, whiteboard where you're going to provide some examples using uh, this structure, using a subject plus the verb V and using a, a verb in past participle as an adjective. Remember that past participle, that particle of the sentence must describe the noun of um, uh, the noun that we have in, in, the, in, the, in the sentence that you're going to construct. Okay, there you have a, a what, in, um, whiteboard. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, we can. No. Okay, well, um, 
you can write there. You can write if you want. Um, and uh, we're going to be, we're going to, to check the exercises that you are creating in this whiteboard. You have the option to, to write and you can do it there. Please provide an example using past a uh, participle as entity. Remember, we must use is. Think about it. I will give you five minutes to think about it. Uh, and then you can uh, start writing here. If not, you can use the chap too. And then I will be moving the sentence that you that, that you share there uh, to this whiteboard and to check the those, those sentences later. Okay, so go ahead. Think about think in a sentence. Excuse me, you said the past participle as an adjective, right? As an adjective, exactly. Uh, okay. This is, well, uh, um, in, the, in the slide, the word uh, checking that information, we saw that to construct that kind of sentence uh, where we have to describe problems, okay? Um, with past participle, we must use the verb be in one of the forms that we have there. It could be using is, it could be using am, it could be using are, okay? But the adjectives followed by this, um, this verb must be a past participle, okay? I don't know if it's clear what I'm saying. Is it clear? If not, I will try to explain in a different way. But please let me know. More or less. More or less. Okay. Yeah. Let's clarify that then. Uh, I will use the white word here. Let me see. Okay. In the platform, you have a, a sentence. Well, you have a lot of sentence there uh, where you use this type of uh, uh, this type of, of construction in English. Uh, and I will use this one. Give me a second because I want to use one of the, the, the ones that, I, that we have here in the platform. Okay, here we have. here. Can you see this example? Yes. Okay. According to the, the what we have been discussing, um, it says that we're going to use a verb um, in past participle. In this case, can you tell me what is the past participle of um, of Raj. Stretch. Okay, thank you. So, uh, using the example that we had before in the formula that we have there, um, what is the verb that we're going to use in order to use that past participle as an adjective? Is. Is, okay. What happened here? Okay, what happened here? We're talking about the, the, the wood, okay? We're talking about the wood. That's the subject of this sentence. What are we going to say about this noun? Okay, what are we going to say about the wood? Okay, um, if we use in this case, the, the, the verb be, the correct form that we're going to, the, the conjugations that we're going to, to use in this sentence is is. Okay, is. 
okay? The wood is grab this. This this word. Oh, well, I will use it. Okay, this word that the, the, the we have there, it's a past participle. Okay, what I'm telling you uh, with this that we can use the past participle as adjectives. Okay, some of them um, that and, and this apply when we want to describe and a specific noun and a specific subject. If we use a past participle to describe a subject, this is um, an adjective, okay? This works in a sentence uh, as an adjective, but what do we need to, um, to, to say it, that this uh, verb is an adjective, okay? Must be followed by the verb be. Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it clear what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that we can use um, past participle as adjectives. That's all, okay? We can use past participle as adjectives when we want to describe something, okay? Uh, is it clear what I'm saying? Can you hear me? Hello, guys. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, then let's say uh, you're going to be working on it. Um, give me an example using this uh, kind of sentence, this type of sentence. Teacher, in the example, he was finished with the platform. Yeah. Okay, he was finished with the platform. Um, in this case, sir, we're using. Um, finish it. Okay, finish it. But you must use um, a, a sentence in, in a sentence, um, the verb is, and you're going to use, a, well, a past participle. Because in this case, uh, we're using, well, we're using a past participle, but we are not describing anything. The idea with this, this type of sentence okay. is that we, we have to describe, we have to describe something. Uh, if we say he was finished, okay, we're saying that, that he completed action, but we are not describing uh, anything about he. And that's one of the things that this uh, type of sentence must it required, okay? okay. Type of sentence required. So it must describe the uh, the subject. It has to describe the subject. Ah, oh, okay, Mr. Ramirez. Okay, you have a you have a good example there. I will put it in the whiteboard. Uh, I will move it from here and I will put it here. Um, give me a second. I'm going to be quickly. This, this, and this. Okay, here. Check it out this example. Okay. Uh, my table is broken. Okay, my table is broken. What are we doing there? Okay, we are describing a problem. What is the problem? That the table is broken. Okay. In a, in a formula, what is the subject then? What is the subject there? Can you identify the subject? Table. My table. My yeah. table, okay, that's the subject. And then what is the verb there? What is the verb that we are using there? Broke. Broke. Is, is. Is, okay. Is, that's the verb that we're using. Why? Because the following, broken, is the adjective, okay? But the adjective is constructed using a past participle of a verb, okay? For that reason, it could be a little bit confusing 
uh, when writing those, the, the, this type of sentence because there we see that there is a, a past participle, okay? It's a past participle, but the function of this past participle is not a, what is a, 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 okay, what, it's not what the word um, is, is working need on this sentence. In this case, broken, okay, it's working as an adjective, not as a, a, as a past participle, not as a verb, okay? It's working as an adjective. Why is an adjective? Because it's describing the noun. It's describing uh, the subject. Okay. okay. We can see. We can see the house is sold. Okay. Yes. We can. We can use in that way. Let me see. Uh, Okay, you say the house, the house is old. You say that, right? So, so pardon. Uh, so, 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 okay. The house is sold, okay? In that way, we are using, um, we're using a past participle to describe something. What are we going? What what are we describing there? Okay, the house. Okay, that's the subject. And what is the past participle? Okay, that is working as an adjective. So, what is the verb? Is okay. Yes. Very good. So I, I think. Uh, let me see. Well, let me check. Do you um? Uh, do you have? The, the this explanation clear or do you want me to explain uh, in a different way because i don't know if you if you uh, get what i'm trying to say did i explain in a good way did i explain that in a good way hello guys Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Please tell me, uh, something that I will ask to you is that uh, when I ask something, please give me a feedback. Uh, maybe you can say yes, no. Uh, maybe if you have any, any doubt, you can ask. Uh, you can make a question, so, but give me a feedback because in that way, I, um, I uh, comprehend that you, that you understood uh, what I said. Okay. Well, let's see. This is using, remember, this is using past participle as adjectives. Okay. Um, now we're going to check. We're going to check the following slide. That is using problems, uh, I mean, describing problems with nouns. How we do how we do that? Okay. Uh, in this case, we're going to use the structure there is and there are. Okay, there is and there are. Uh, we can say in a sentence there is a chip in it. Okay. Oh, there are a few scratches on them. Okay. So in this case you notice that um, we're using the, the noun, okay? In this case, we're not using um, a, a verb. We're using the noun of that word. Um, what are those nouns? Um, scratches, chief. And also we're using articles to identify those nouns. Maybe we can say the, there is, I mean, there are two chips in, in it, or there are four, well, etc. And the second, in the second sentence, we're using a quantifier. And it says there are a few scratches on them. So um, in this exercise, we are not using verb. We're using the form of the nouns of those, um, of the, 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 the words that we have in the previous 
um, a, a slide. Okay, so the scratches, it's working as a noun and it has the form of a, of, of a noun. In the last one, I mean, in the last, in the previous presentation, I mean, um, we saw that scratch, it's a verb, okay? It's a verb and it has the form of the past uh, participle. In this case, it's just a noun. Um, to form this, this kind of sentence, this type of sentence, we, it's easy. It's just, it's using there is plus um, the noun, okay? If we can, if we can change that noun um, to past participle, we can do it in that way we, we are describing problems using the structure that we saw uh, previously. Also, in, in this case, in, in, in describing problems with nouns, we have the structure of it has and they have. To be it has and they have a plus a noun. In the example that we have here, a, it is, it has a leak in it, okay? And they have a stain on them. And there, instead of using there is, we can use it has. If we want to specify um, the thing that we are referring to, okay? If we, if we want to specify something, we use has or have. So let's practice. And what you're going to do is write two examples describing problems with past participle as adjectives and write two examples describing problems with nouns. Uh, that's going to be um, your homework in this, um, uh, well, for tomorrow. And you're going to share it there in the WhatsApp group. This is just for practicing. Uh, try to do not use the examples that we have in the platform. Try to create your own your, your own sentences. So, and you're going to send it to the WhatsApp group and I'll, I'll be checking um, those sentences and I will be giving you a feedback when you, um, when you complete it. Uh, is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So, um, I always give any space to you to um, to tell me if you have any question uh, that may be about this uh, topic that we were discussing, or maybe if you have a question about the platform that you had uh, for working with your exercise, for uh, practicing with your exercises, or uh, any doubt in general, okay? Tell me. Do you have any question? How how is it gonna work with the homework or exams? I mean, what is the time of each? Uh, you mean the exams that you're going to be taking in the platform? Yes. Okay. Um, there you have a multiple opportunities. That's mean that you can uh, take the exam um, most than two or three or four. So it's multiple uh, opportunities that you're going to have there until uh, you get uh, at least eight to, to go to the following, to the following um, uh, module, okay? Because in this platform, in, in, in Inglés Corporativo, uh, if you don't finish or if you get a low score, you have the opportunity to, um, to practice more the, exercise, the exercises that you have uh, for, the, for the model or for the se sections that you have there. In this case, it's called section. Uh, you can practice all those exercises and take the exam again. Uh, if, if that doesn't work, okay, 
you are going to go uh, go back again, check the videos till you get an eight. Okay, I don't know if if I'm explaining that in a good way. Yes, you are. Okay, thank you, Miss. Um, there is another question. Is there another question? Teacher, I have a question with the first three exercise. Uh, suppose if we are talking about grandma, uh, will be subject plus verb to be plus past participle by not by not like verb. It's like adjectives, right? Yes, it's an adjective. It's a, a past participle working as an adjective. Like an adjective. Okay, thank you. Okay, yes, it's a past participle, okay? The word is a past participle, but in the sentence, it's working as an adjective. That's what I, I was explaining to you, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Very good. Um, is there any other question that you want to, to, that you want me to answer? Hello, guys. No? Okay. Um, I had some information for you. I don't know if you if you read the, the emails that were sent to, to, to you. And I have to tell you that we are going to be taking uh, the video conference uh, from Monday to Thursday. Okay. Uh, we're going to be working just four dates. Uh, and the video conference will be always at um, 8 p.m. Okay. So uh, that's that's all for tonight. Okay. And, thank you. Okay. That's thank all for you, tonight. And I have to say, I was checking some information in, in the WhatsApp group uh, that we have. Uh, that's all for tonight, uh, guys, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, blessings to all of you, and bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Fox.